Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to introduce to you this morning the Cadillac ATS-V Coupe and the ATS-V Sedan. When you're in control of a car with more than 450 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque that hits 60 in less than four seconds. The new ATS-V is equipped with a 3.6 liter twin turbo capable of zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. It has a top speed of 189 miles an hour. It has a maximum lateral acceleration of 1G and it is uh, capable of stopping the shortest distance of anybody in the business. It's got all the technology and safety features and latest electronics uh, that you'd expect from a Cadillac. But honestly, from a styling point of view, this car was very much driven by the work that the engineering team was doing to meet their performance uh, targets. It was, honestly, it was styled on the racetrack and it was styled in the wind tunnel. So all the new content that you see on the exterior of the vehicle, apart from looking great, is pretty much driven by either packaging, so the wider fenders for the wider track, uh, the new face is all there for cooling so that the new powertrain gets to breathe better, you get about 50% more air into the front end of the car. Everything else is about aerodynamics, lift reduction, or about mass reduction. Moving a 112-year-old brand takes time. We have very established a brand image, and we are moving the needle with V-Series. V-Series attracts a younger, more affluent buyer to the brand than the standard car. The ATS-V is designed to eclipse the very best that our European competitors can master in the segment. The number one source of conquest sales for the ATS is BMW. We're here to capture all the market we can and let these new Cadillacs uh, speak for themselves.